Welcome back. It's another Springfield's Best Day where we get to connect with the best businesses around. One of today's Springfield's Best members is Chef Justin Myrick from the Hilton Garden Inn. We were just there a few weeks ago where the Springfield's Best had an amazing luau. And we went through to get the food. And Maddie and I both went, this is the best pork we've ever had. Yeah. We actually tracked him down. We were like, get him out of the kitchen. We need to talk to him. <laughs> so we, you know when they say we'd like to compliment the chef? We actually did. We did. Yes. And it's hard to get me out of the kitchen, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He, yep. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming in. And so thank tell you. us about this amazing pork that you've made for us that we got to try a few weeks ago. Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me, yeah. first of all. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, we all love this idea of, like, uh, a luau on the beach, and they dig a big pit, and they build a big fire in there, and they roast a whole pig for hours and hours, and then as the sun goes down, they dig it up, and you know, you just get this succulent pulled pork right off of it. And that's not something that most of us can do at home, right? We're yeah. not gonna dig a big pit. So I started thinking when you guys wanted to do um, a luau-themed uh, party, well, how can I recreate that pork? I was like, well, I have a smoker, um, I've got pork, I can get banana leaves. And so I started thinking, well, instead of the pit and the fire, I can wrap the pork and banana leaves, just like they wrap the pork with banana and palm fronds. And uh, I can smoke it with mesquite wood because in Hawaii, they use like a specific Hawaiian variety of mesquite for, the, for those luau's. Mm -hmm. So um, really, it's a, it's a really simple thing to do at home. It's uh, if you've got a smoker or a grill. Mm -hmm. And there's only four ingredients. There's pork, salt, banana leaves, and smoke. Okay. Okay. Can you give us an example of how you, how you do it? Sure. I see some banana leaves, I think. Yes. So this is a cut of pork that's, you can use a whole big pork shoulder if you wanted to, you know, and it's gonna take a lot longer. But this is a cut that's often sold as a uh, pork sirloin roast in the grocery stores. Okay. It's a, it's a cut that's adjacent to the pork butt, and it makes great pulled pork. And it's, if you're only feeding like a family of three or four, it's a much more manageable size yeah. okay. than a big eight pound pork butt. So first thing you wanna do is dry the meat off. So I've got a towel. And this is a great make ahead thing as well because ideally, you're gonna to wanna to let the pork sit with the salt on it for a while. Yeah. Oh. That way it can really penetrate the meat and flavor it all the way in the inside so you don't just have like the outside being seasoned. Yeah. So, got our pork seasoned there. I try and keep one clean hand, one dirty hand. I see, yeah, yes. we've, we tried that in the past, we're not yeah. very good at it. <laughs> so, I've got some red Hawaiian sea salt here. You could use pink Hawaiian sea salt, you could use just regular sea salt, but this red Hawaiian salt has a volcanic clay that gives it that red pigment, and it really gives it an earthy and minerally kind of flavor to the, oh, to nice. the pork. So, and you can get this at specialty shops or perhaps can online. I, can yeah. I get a whiff of it? Sure. Smell it. Get in there. Just a little smell. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that does smell nice. So yeah, specialty shops online. And the banana leaves you can usually get at Asian markets, Latino markets, oh. or probably online, just okay. like anything else these days. Okay. But they may be in the frozen section, and if you, uh, you know, can't find them, ask somebody. I'm sure they'll take your money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they have to be completely dry? Uh, no, it's fine for them to be wet. Um, okay. These were frozen, and in my experience, they actually are a little more pliable when they're Ooh. frozen, a little easier to work nice. with. Okay. You do want to rinse them off in the sink first because they came off a tree and there's bound to be a little bit of dust and dirt on them. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to season up the pork, and it's going to look like I'm using too much. In fact, I'm going to open the big side here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get that salt on <laughs> there. It's going to look like too much, but really, you know, it's a big hunk of meat, and we're yeah. trying to season it all the way down to the insides. And you can roll it around and make it a mess on your counter here. No, you're fine. You make a mess. <laughs> That's what this is but, for. And if you've got little nooks and crannies like yeah. that, get in there. That's awesome. Ooh. Well, it's, that's what's seasoning it, too, because you said it's only like four ingredients. Right. So. And the better quality salt, like this, having that minerally earthy flavor is going to bring more yeah. to the table than just plain old salt. Right. But if all you've got is plain old kosher salt, use that. Okay. But, yeah, ideally we're going to want to do this a day ahead of time. You can okay. see the color on the board from the, oh, yeah. from the salt. Perfect. So, once we've got it pretty well coated in the salt, a little extra just for good luck. Yeah. Okay. We'll take our banana leaf and okay, I see. you can see wow. it's wet from, it's wet. Yeah. I've rinsed it off previously. What does the banana leaf do for it though? Well, it's sealing it up, which it's not gonna be airtight seal or anything right. like that, but it's gonna help it kind of steam inside of the leaf a little bit, trap some of that moisture in, trap some of that heat in, which is gonna help break down that connective tissue and give us a nice, nice tender pulled pork. Uh, I guess. Okay. And it's gonna impart flavor. I was gonna say, so I wonder if that's flavor, you know. We're gonna take that, roll it up, I'm gonna take another one, 
I may not even need the whole thing. Oh gosh, those, those are awesome. They're ones. big. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I probably won't use this whole one, but. That's okay. Turn it the other way so we can seal up. Oh, I got you. Okay. That side. Sealing both sides, okay. And if there's little cracks or holes, it's not a big deal. That's just where more smoke is gonna get in and flavor the whole shebang. Look at that. Look how easy that peels off. Easy Whoop. peasy. Drop that we got a broom, no problem. Then I'm just gonna take, you know, I think traditionally, native peoples, there, there's a, a big string that runs along the top of the leaf. I think that they would use those to um, tie it up oh, and all that. Nice. I'm not to that level yet. Yeah, that's <laughs> So okay I just try and uh, just use a few toothpicks. Perfect. Kind of fold it up like a Christmas present. There you go. And then you smoke it for how long? Well, if you've got a grill or smoker, you want to go about 275 for six to eight hours. But here's the real trick. It's not going to be fully cooked at that point, but it's going to have taken on all the smoke it really needs. So then you can take it and place it into a oven safe dish, a casserole dish, anything you've got, put it in there, wrap it in foil, or if it's got a lid, do that. Add a little bit of water to the pan. That's gonna help keep moisture in the yes. environment. And, uh, and then put that in an oven, 275, 300 degrees, to finish cooking for a few more hours. Awesome. And that's why this is a great do ahead, because you can do that whole smoking portion, day, two days, whatever, ahead of time. Then the day you wanna serve it, pop it in the oven. Okay. So that's what I did this morning. Okay, and you brought some for us to try, right? Yes, I did. I'm so happy you did, because it's so, so good, guys. Yes. Through the magic of TV and planning ahead. Exactly. Here Thank goes you. Matty. We've got one done here. Okay. And so what I, this, uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm He's salivating. I am, yeah. it was so good. But, uh, so what I did was I had uh, the overnight person at the hotel pop this in the oven at three o'clock in the morning this morning at okay. 300 degrees and I pulled it out at about 6.30. Okay. And it's just been resting. I have a, a warming bank. Uh, so is this one done then? Yep. Okay. So if I can get this glove on. There we go. Well, oh, I can smell it. Oh, I gosh. can too. I'll just That's get so rid good. of that banana leaf. We'll just kind of tear into oh, it. Oh my gosh, oh my that looks Lord. amazing. All right, and if okay. you've got juices down in the bottom, save those and toss the meat in it and look at that. Oh look at, oh you're just God. using your hands. Wow, see look that's, that. what? He's pulling it. He and it's, look at the heat, it's still coming. Right. <laughs> I'm grabbing that one right there. What was there. the face for, chef? What did I do? You said something. Pull, oh. Pulling it? Oh. You but uh, it. you can see the outsides there where it's gotten some good smoke on it. Mm. Mm. I apologize, chef. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hear way worse in the kitchen. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness. Full pork for breakfast, not bad. No, it's amazing, not a, are you kidding? Not at 8.36 when it's this good? Mm. Wow, it is just, it's amazing how simple it is, yeah. but how much flavor. Mm -hmm. And you, people can try your food at the Hilton Garden Inn? I took too big of a bite. That's okay. Hilton Garden Inn. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. Check it out, Chef Justin Myrick. Amazing food. You will love to the it. Chef. And thank compliments you. to Springfield's best <laughs> yes. for everything you do. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Coming up, Jeremy and I will talk to another Springfield's best. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. Oh my God. <laughs>